If you happen to purchase one of the Kinhank G1 boxes and it's not working properly, maybe it's running slow or it's freezing up all the time. Well, today I'm going to teach you all the methods to get it reset again from easiest, the simplest method, all the way up to your last resort. Now, if you're actually thinking of purchasing one of these G1 boxes, I have the complete review, which I'll tag right above here. And all these videos are listed in a nice playlist where you can learn everything about the Kinhag, how to reset it, how to play around with the settings, and so much more. If you're new to the channel, I try to help people like you save money on streaming services, and yes, learn about their devices. Literally the best way to support me is just subscribing right down below. Now method number one is actually really simple. And this is if your device is frozen and you can't do anything at all. And what we call this is a soft power reset, or some people refer to it as a power cycle. To do this, what you're gonna do is unplug your power source directly from the back. Now your other option, if you don't wanna do that, is just to press this power button right here. But if your device is frozen, that might not work. You're gonna to wanna to leave it unplugged for 30 seconds at least. Go make yourself a coffee, and when you come back, you can plug it right back in. Now that it's done, we can plug our device back in, and you wanna see if this has fixed the issue. If your device loaded up just like this, you're probably good to go. But if your device is still frozen, hold up and wait for step three. Step number two is if you can still move around your device, but maybe it's lagging or something's just feeling a little off. Well, what we wanna do is go into settings, scroll down until you find device preferences and click on the about section. Now you wanna to go to factory reset. Now you might wonder, what is a factory reset? Well, this is really simple. This is just a soft reset. It deletes everything off your device and basically resets it like it's brand new again. So if you have any third-party apps installed or anything else you've put directly on the drive, it's no longer going to be there. However, because of the Google TV OS operating system, all your main apps can easily get installed right away like Netflix Prime Video. So they'll even give you this warning, this resets your device back to factory reset, erases all account, files, and downloaded apps. You're gonna wanna click on that and that will now factory reset your device. Now, if you can't factory reset your device that way and it's frozen, well, what else can you do? This is where your device's reset switch comes in. Now, on the Kinhank model, they actually have the reset switch right here. You just see it say reset and it has a little circle. On some devices, if you have a different style device and you're watching this video, sometimes it's inside of the AV port or you'll see a little button underneath. Now, I'm gonna show you what to do here. So I'm gonna unplug it. You're gonna see my screen go off there. You wanna hold down that switch. It's like a soft push. You need like a bobby pin or something. Hold it down, and while you're holding it down, go ahead and plug in your power source again. So you wanna make sure both are in at the same time. Let me find it, right like that. So I'm holding both down. I just put in my power switch, and you wanna keep holding down the reset switch. This is very important. Keep holding it down. And now you're gonna to come to this screen right here, which is your reboot screen. Now this is very important with your remote, you wanna click on wipe data factory reset. Don't do the reboot reboot system now. And to scroll around in the menu, your remote might not work. You actually just click the reset switch once and you can see it move around in the menu there. So when you get to what you want to click on, go ahead and hold down the button. Now will click it, click it once more, hold it down. And now this is going to factory reset our device. And once it's done the factory reset, hold it down one more time over top of reboot system now. And your system should now reboot. And now you're back on your main Google TV screen where you're setting up your device for the first time. So that's how easy it is to reset your Kinhang box. If it's still not working, your only option is to buy another one or contact them for warranty. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you can go ahead and check out the other videos in my Kinhank series where you can learn more about this device and figure out how to fix the remote and so many other common issues or things you need to know about the device. Make sure to subscribe down below. See you guys later.